<laughs> I guess we vlog it today. It's about 7.15 in the morning here in Houston, Texas. I'm about to actually jump on a flight to LA because this weekend is the weekend that I'll be finally reestablishing myself back into powerlifting America and joining the IPF. Now this past week, I made an announcement on IG showing a screenshot of me getting my membership to powerlifting America. It kind of went crazy in the powerlifting community. Then I had powerlifting America make a video kind of me announcing my return. So this is part, I guess like two of my return and part three is gonna be actually me competing March 15th. But this Sunday, I'm actually going to be competing at Zoo Culture in a qualifying meet to get me qualified for Powerlifting American Nationals. Come to think of it, I've been competing in over a year, which is going to be crazy because my first meet back competing since the Korea meet is going to be me doing basically open bar. Hopefully, I can hit depth. Also, just to be clear, I think I should rephrase the way that this meet's going to be going. This meet is structured to be something that allows me to qualify for Powerlifting American Nationals. Not really so much something that's like getting me back into Powerlifting America. Alright, so we're back at Zoo Culture. Finally got situated, I'm not gonna lie. Travel was ass, getting my car was ass. But I was able to grab some Wobble Girl, one of my favorite places here in Los Angeles, surprisingly. Um, but now we're about to lift. I'm fucking ready to train, man. I'm ready to train. One of the worst travel experiences that I've had in a minute. And it wasn't like anything like crazy, it was just the fact that, like, bruh, like, it took forever to finally get in LA and get situated. We had we ate we ate dinner last night and then when we're done this fool texts me as we just roll off because Tina how many people are doing this meet Sunday? 13. 13? And like we're all doing open bar, right? Basically. We got the callers. Everyone yeah. oh, total is 125. Okay. Across the board. Yeah, this is about to be my worst meet ever documented. Low, lowest lowest IPF points ever. Yeah, it's gonna be pretty bad. I normally like don't like doing meets. If I'm gonna compete, I wanna be like at prime form. This is gonna be one of the few meets where it's like, we're not doing it. I just need to qualify for that, so it's what it is. Oh yeah. Okay, so the first set, I mean, I'm deciding to do um, kind of like a sending set. I have three sets of four. So first set, I did 308. Next, I'm going to do 331. And then depending on how this set feels, I'll probably bump the weight up a little bit more. Um, yeah, it feels good to be here at Zoo. Like, I always feel like OG Zoo, one of my favorite gyms of all time. I feel like location number two is a better facility. But there was just something about that OG location where it's just like, nah, this is like OG type shit. I don't like this place. Oh, that one got 12 bedrooms. What, what's the property tax on that?
right, so we finished up the workout. Really easy work. After that, we did about 30 minutes cardio. Now we're heading to... Paquito Moss. Paquito Moss. Got to keep it simple. <laughs> so, uh, as you guys know, I'm about to start prep next week. Um, I'm keeping it really clean, food-wise. I had Wobble Girl earlier today. Kept it really good with, uh, like, chicken, rice, veggies. And I'm about to do the same thing, too. So, this place is right next to Zoo Culture. We've been there before. Last time we were there, we saw... Hey, who did we see last time we was there? That country dude? We saw, like, one country dude last time we were there. Yeah, it was like he pulled up in a black Escalade and then like walked in and grabbed a shit and did. He's like on The Voice or some shit. McGraw, some shit. I don't know. <laughs> what are those Tim guys? McGraw. We saw uh, fucking... Oh, fucking uh, what was the dude with the tattoos? Yeah, I think he has tattoos. No, 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 it's not. Yeah, yeah, he's fat. Oh, shit. It's all good. Marvel movie slate. Go. Finally feels good to be inside of the hotel. I've spent all day moving around and LA traffic. Like it took me about like an hour to get from LAX over to Zoo Culture and it was only like a 20 mile distance. <sighs> Worked out, saw Coach, saw a big body, saw a Tina and I got some goodies too that I didn't show you guys. Let me show you real quick. I got a whole thing of flex tees up in here. Woo, got some new flex tees. I can't wait to start training in these, man. But anyways, not gonna lie, tired as hell. Gonna wake up super early and train tomorrow because I will be at the two year anniversary of Zoo Culture being open. Kind of didn't really plan to, but I mean, the meet's gonna be happening at Zoo Culture anyways. So fuck it, might as well show up the day before and go to the grand opening and train. I, I know there's gonna be like a lot of people there, like celebrities and you know, influencers and all that kind of stuff. But I ain't gonna lie to y'all, I'm gonna take a shower, lay in bed, and then wake up early and go train tomorrow before the madness happens. So let's knock out. <sighs> All right, time to go train. Saturday morning, 9.14. Excited, we have a uh, squat today, and that's pretty much it, no bench. I've been benching four times a week now, but for today, since the first day of the block, or the first week of the block, no bench. And I'm excited, I'm excited to go and train. Where's my keys? I'm excited to go and train, just because <clears throat> we're gonna be, I think today, makes like just outside of eight weeks or it's like right at nine weeks so it's like bro haven't competed in a year now it's time to start locking in the fuck <clears throat> now it's time to start locking the fuck in and uh just a lot lots to look forward to man a lot to look forward to let me open up the uh hold on let me put like a cinematic hold on i got you i got you stop you who's gonna stop me but me. that's what i'm saying when you know the power is in you oh i'm gonna say this right now i got a concern that because it's cold here in la which is kind of abnormal but i got a concern because it's freezing over in houston oh my doors have probably got robbed uh but i'm i got a concern because it's gonna freeze in houston monday i'm supposed to fly back monday and i feel like my flight's gonna be delayed. I'm gonna have to end up staying here in LA like longer. Or my Monday travel is just gonna be complete ass. Just wanted to note that before like I get my day started because I just feel like it might happen. And I almost wanna like low key predict it. So when it happens, I can get back on here and tell y'all. Yo, my door is like cracked open. This is kind of scary. It's a rental, so it means nothing to steal. But anyways, I wanna be able to be on here and tell y'all like I told y'all it was gonna happen. Almost look like a. Uh... No way, did I forget the keys? Raged quit right now, but I got the damn keys. Okay, let's focus on having a good day in the gym. Alright, I'm gonna lie to you guys, gonna lock the fuck in. No talking. So I'm gonna tap him before we begin. Got body. Man. I thought you were sagging. Huh? I was like, what are you sagging? <laughs> my fault. I got my pants on. Swole is over here already locked in. All the way over there. We about to get dirty. So like I said, I'm gonna lock in. Today's session's really easy, so. I agree with you guys. Oh, so long people starting to hate it, they feel scorned. I see the looks on all their faces and I'm 
torn It's like, I ain't wanna do this But if it gotta be a shoe And I guess I'ma be the shooter You been warned I'm in this bitch poppin' ace like I'm Sean They play your shit, look at the gang and then we yawn Why would he make that lame choice? Man, these niggas couldn't score if they had gang point and I'm wrong After the chip, I told my folks back home, so long I moved my family and my bricks to a place where it's warm I'm back in championship condition, I can't resist all this winning It's like me and success built a bomb so let's stay brief I'm in a rush in TSA They tryna x-ray me I made my bitch so bad That an ex can't speak The only way to make a litter Is a sex tape leak A little porn <laughs> I'm, I'm just fucking around Uh-huh Yeah, uh Fuck the world, am I wrong? I'm in the VIP, a hundred niggas strong Hustlers yelling from the bleachers put me on I ran it up, ain't take me long My life a story out of Psalms And I can put that on my mother first Born in my city, I'm King Kong Kim Jong-un, to me, you niggas like this small Say white bitch, I probably meant what a brick cause I'm in a five-star hotel suite with a Swiss broad Then I'm gone, pinky ring of a dawn Bad boy like I'm Sean, I'm like Golden Eye Bond that's 25 inch beams scoping out harm So how you niggas gon' hide from us with polka dots on? You niggas is drawn You probably heard when I got shot I brought a rolly, AP, and a cardi after that watch I've been back home 50 times since all the rumors I'm chillin' These killers with me keep asking me what we doin' Them niggas, bored Hey yo, get the champagne Hey yo, hit boy, we gon' get the champagne and goggles We spraying this shit everywhere We goin' to Ilios Tell them open the back room up for us Let's go And I'm Out today. Fuck the social media shit. We know we out for some real shit. Boom. Hey. And that whole 2023. Boom. Boom. That's what we doing right now. Boom. Fuck the bullshit. Fuck the Instagram. Fuck the TikTok. Fuck the people talking to the IG live. About what we finna do in Vegas. We finna do in Nevada. All right, so the session is done. Um, so one of the things that I've been working on, as you guys know, is uh, depth, right? Um, for me, one of the things I need to highlight in training is gonna be depth and then holding a bar on deadlift. Deadlift is like not so much of an issue just because I train in very human environments and oftentimes like the sweat, all that kind of stuff, but nonetheless, we're still hyper-focusing on that. But depth is something that I usually lock in on meet day, but in training, just kind of like inconsistent and I'm working out with body today and what body was telling me is that he had a side angle and it's like there was a set where I, there was like a rep where I went extremely deep and it was like kind of like mimicking that football type of explosiveness where like you kind of like you control the top ease into it and then as you get into the hole you almost speed ramp and increase the speed in which you're descending and then use that momentum in the hole to bounce back up regain control and push yourself out of the hole kind of hard to explain um a little bit more difficult to kind of like execute but when you're able to execute that the trade-off for that's gonna be like it's gonna be crazy so if i'm able to execute that on a consistent basis there's gonna be no like no question as to me like getting where i need to get squat wise when it comes to death so one thing that i started doing a lot more often is journaling my workout so after every so after every single training session or set i'll write down what i did I'm not gonna lie, I used to clown motherfuckers, I used to like journal their workouts, so I'm like, how the fuck do you not remember what's going on? But I think if you write down what you're doing and write down what you're thinking about, it kind of lets you hyper-focus and retain that information. 
it's kind of like the study guides where you write down quotes or you write down like your uh, notes and because you write it down it kind of makes it a little bit more ingrained into your mind so overall um good session i think the first two sets were a little bit kind of feeling it out and then the last like two sets of the last set for sure was good good undeniable technique and depth all right so i mean the event has already commenced i'm like we're ducked off here in the corner it's a lot of people i'm gonna show y'all i already finished the workout everything was good but shit. so many motherfuckers do So the game plan right now is that we're gonna wait for uh, Joey to pull up, and we're gonna go get something to eat. But session is done. It's funny because like I'm training and I'm competing tomorrow. So uh, yeah, there's a lot of people, bro. A lot of stimulus. Events like this, I've just been kind of like not over, but it's like I just don't really be doing shit like this anymore no because there's a lot going on. But super thankful for everyone that's like pulled up to me and said something because, like I said, it's crazy to know that there's people out there that fuck with what I do. Like, off the video, I'm like a lot of people that I brought it to pilot and always in the Ready to get some food. Uh, I ain't gonna lie, I completely left my camera inside the car as we went to this place called Versailles. It's like five minutes away from Zoo Culture. Grab some um, nice Cuban food, I believe. Kept it simple with the rye rice, chicken, um, chicken and um, <clears throat> black beans. And now, going back to the crib. I'm going back to the hotel, I ain't gonna lie, it's like 4 p.m. The meet tomorrow is at 12 p.m. And I literally just want to focus on resting and recovering. And then, uh, I mean, I don't really have to like recover to like really compete or anything like that, but socially I'm dead. So <laughs> I'll talk to you guys probably tomorrow or something like that. Gonna watch some football. Texas one, shout out to motherfucking Texas. You some motherfucking Texas, huh? Here's your motherfucking Texas, dude, honey. If you could please clip the you black youngs to Houston motherfucking Texas, just please clip that shit. Won their first uh, playoff game of the year. So that's dope. And then I'm going to go home and watch uh, Kansas City and the Dolphins. For those of you guys that didn't know, I walked on when Patrick Mahomes was a rookie at Texas Tech. What the fuck? Anyways, all right. Let me drive back to the hotel. All right, good morning, guys. My camera, <laughs> the main camera actually died. So for this portion of the video, it's probably going to be more of like a VHS old school type of camera vlog. Um, but it's Sunday. Getting ready to head on over to Zoo Culture Studio, which is the OG Zoo where the meet's gonna be held. Grabbing singlet, or not, the shirt that I'm gonna be wearing under my singlet. Should be good to go. It's gonna be weird. Let me see if I can actually turn it around. It's gonna be weird because, like, this is my first time competing, and I know I'm gonna, like, not do shit. So <laughs> it's gonna be interesting. I might be bringing my belt, which is right here, and I got my Jordan 8s that I'm gonna be using for. The, uh, for the session. It should be relatively short. Hopefully this isn't too close. It should be relatively short. Me, like I'm literally just doing open bar. So it's like, just gonna be the callers. I think like the total is gonna be 120 kilos for the whole meet, which is gonna be easily my worst meet ever. But the purpose of the meet is to kind of qualify for nationals. And then from there, I'm gonna sign up for nationals, compete for real, for real, March 13th. Let's go. And I'm wrong. After the chip, I told my folks back home, so long, I'm on I waited at 97.5. What? KG. No. 89.7. Oh. Oh, no. no. I'm like 215. 89. 89.5 KG. My fault. 89.7. 89.7. Okay. 89.7 KG. Let me do the math on my calculator to give you guys an exact pound breakdown as to how much that is. 89.7. 
I'm 197 points. I think that's pretty good. Uh, so, I'll talk. Maybe I'll talk about it like later before I close the video, just because I'm filming off of my like camcorder or whatever. But um, basically, I'm right on points where I need to be. I typically cut from this way, anyways, getting into meat. So we're good to go. And now we're just chilling here at the old zoo culture. It's hard as fuck, man. I personally, this is like one of my favorite gyms, like ever. Yeah, a lot of like some parts of this gym is kind of like what I use as motivation to make corrupt the strength. So really cool to be back here. Alright. I'll catch you guys later. Bars loaded, Russ. Let's go, bro. Woo! Your weight. Your weight. Come on, man. You got this. Oh, yeah. Squat. Oh, Rack. Yeah, that's good. Stick him in. Thought you can't get on the popcorn. You can't. Yeah. You're following the rules. Yeah, you're following the rules. Oh, exactly. Start. Press. Press. I'm gonna have to send Bobby and Jerry for that one. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's fine. Russ, I mean, in, in the city of Houston, I feel similar. like it might be similar. <laughs> yeah. Last clip, make it a good one. It is Come now, on. but it's more than that. Yeah. Oh, that's good. Uh, Down. Uh, oh, he's in the meat. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he's in the meat. Oh, we're going to have to lower our third. Good execution there. Uh, the left side is getting up. There it goes. Yeah. <laughs> oh shit, meat is over with. Finna go to CC's and get some grub. Finally done what we came to LA to do. Now I can sign up for nationals and we're good to go. And uh, we're awesome. Oh, we're all set. All right, now we're gonna go to CC's like I said earlier. It's like one of my favorite spots here in LA area. It's like this pancake brunch breakfast type of vibe. Amazing food. Moderate COVID-19 and a high risk factor for it becoming severe. It does not prevent COVID. I hope they know it's eight of us. Hey, yeah, yeah. Whole team is awesome. So you gotta do the I'm alive. It's like a quick, you gotta put your X's up. You gotta put your X's up. Okay. Say hi. Oh, my, my bad. Yeah, yeah. All the way, 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 all the way. Here you go. Say hi. Hi. Easy. <laughs> say, say hi. Say hi. Say hi. This is so cool. The guy. Because that. he runs great meets. He's really aggressive. <laughs> the only reason why I don't like the lions is because of him. How does that work in terms of? Because. Because. <laughs> no, look. Because he doesn't represent y'all right. He likes it. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> <laughs> no way. Straight, I have one more uh, and white scramble. Conquer, I think oh, yeah, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Let me try it out. It's alright. <laughs> Everything is alright. He's like, it's alright. He's, like, he's like, he's in the right back. Oh, look at that. Look at the weed. The weed. I think he would have been better if he went right. I am about to get it. I feel like mad because they see how much money we make and one of the one of the active managers said to a different girl like I wish you Guys this journey has come to an end. I'm actually about to head on out to back to Houston. It's Monday morning, like five in the uh, five in the morning. So uh overall got the mission accomplished, competed, weighed in at 197 pounds, right on point for prep, and I can't wait to to start getting ready for the meet that actually matters. Uh, once again, this was a qualifier meet to get ready for nationals, or to qualify for nationals, and then for nationals, uh, we gotta do the damn thing. Then hopefully uh, get into Worlds, and then from Worlds, we're world champions once again. So um, the time starts now. So basically prep starts now. We're gonna turn this into a prep series. I'll let you guys know everything that needs to happen in order for me to become a national champion, the world champion after that as well. So joining me on this eight week journey as I get ready for prep, uh, as I get ready for nationals that 
uh, is going to encompass breaking down weight, training, recovery, and um, just coaching our mindset leading into this next one. So thank you guys for watching this video. Like always, if you guys like this video, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Get better today.